Greetings and salutations to you all once again. It is me, the Ravenous Spectre, and as you can see here, this is the lovely Stillbook of Persona 5. Uh, actually ended up getting this free with my pre-order. I'm sorry you guys are looking at the bedroom floor right now. We don't... Yeah, look at that. Now we got a little... We don't have the carpet in here anymore. We have like a little other little thingy floor, wooden rug, thingy, something. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, I just want to go ahead and do a quick video of this because this has to be one of the most gorgeous steel books I have ever seen in my life. Uh, I have, I think, I know I have one steel book in particular, which is Assassin's Creed 3. Um, I'm not necessarily sure if I have any other ones. I don't recall. Let me go ahead and open this up on the inside. Sorry for the, sh the shakiness. Um, but yeah, sorry for the glare there. You can kind of see that from from that side i'll just go ahead from the side here and kind of slowly pan on over and obviously it didn't come with an instruction booklet because we don't believe in instruction booklets in this day and age and um this actually came also with i think the take your heart edition i believe that it is called uh sorry the disc isn't in here for me to show that off it, it's in the ps4 right now and i can't get to it because it would take extra time for me to do this it, but anyways whatever um but uh, yeah, uh, I really think that this is a gorgeous still book, and I just wanted to show it, show it to you guys so you can check it out and see how see how awesome it is and whatnot. Uh, it's definitely something to behold. And I put a, a little bit of time into the game today, and I think it's honestly pretty cool, pretty pretty sweet, but for sure. Um, definitely looking forward to diving back into it a whole whole heck of a lot more. Um, but I was kind of surprised that this actually came from the uh, Take Your Heart or Steal Your Heart or Crush Your Heart or Shit All Over Your Heart Edition, whatever the hell it's called. Um, <clears throat> I was surprised because I figured something like that would only come with that specific edition. I thought it would have something different than compared to this, but apparently it's the exact same thing. When I ended up pre-ordering this, they told me, they said, okay, well, you can get the still book or you can get the, uh, the controller skin. There's no reason for me to get the controller skin because I don't know, I guess you can take it off. I, I don't know if you stick it on, it's on there forever or whether or not you can take it off or not, I'm not sure. But the fact is, is I wasn't going to bother with that because I know the moment I put it on there, knowing how much I use my PS4, I'm pretty sure it would become faded over time or rip and tear, or get dirty. Yeah, so that's not something that would be permanent for me. If this, If it came with this, well, that's all well and good. But this is something that will last from now until the end of time as far as I'm concerned, but yeah, um, this was a hell of a lot better choice than the, the, than the controller skin, you know, something like that would just die, I mean, it would just tear apart and fall apart and all that other stuff, but anyways, I just want to go ahead and make this quick video and show this to you guys and let you guys know that if you're into JRPGs, definitely check this game out, it is, it just, it feels so nice, it feels so sexy, you can just, you make little, little sounds on it, you keep knocking it, little steel butt, or whatever, although I wonder if this is really steel, or if it's just tin, or a, a steel, the tin, the metal, the, the, the something, the, whatever, I just, I guess I just had a different thought on it than, than usual, but anyways, you guys are probably tired of seeing me flip this around now, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this, like I always do, later taters.